Hello everybody, it's Mirialda here once again, and welcome back to another figure unboxing. Woohoo, yes, we've got another box. Did you miss me? It's only been a couple days. <laughs> so, this one was supposed to have been delivered yesterday. It shipped out on the same day as the last box, but F FedEx was slow compared to UPS, and then it was even slower. But it just got delivered today, and yeah. Obviously, this package comes from Big Bad Toy Store. It's not very subtle packaging. Or discreet and they decided that the side of the box was the perfect place for the shipping label so yeah but we have a box and what do we do with boxes we open boxes so let's go ahead and get this box open and see who this figure is you know who this figure is because that's what's in the title and the thumbnail it's a neptunia figure make sure okay i don't see any shipping labels or invoices or whatever so no personal information for you to dox me with there wow this is actually a compact box go ahead and put this off to the side so yes we've got a box within a box within a box so broccoli likes to do uh outer shipping boxes of their figures which is nice it protects the actual figure box um hmm should we go ahead and open this, or can you read what it says? We'll go ahead and open it, and then we'll tell you who she is. I mean, obviously, I already said it's Neptunia. It's a small one. It's a sleepy Neptunia figure. Let's go ahead and get this open. I wasn't really planning on getting this one. And then they announced another one that's coming out supposedly end of the year. And I had to get this one to complete it. And she's in a baby, even. So, yeah, we've got Blanc. Sleepy Blanc. Get her out of the plastic bag. There we go. So, this is Blanc, the Neo Key version of her, the or Sleepy version. Uh, she is from Hyperdimension Neptunia, of course. She is Whiteheart, but not transformed. Uh, she's a 1 8 scale figure manufactured by Broccoli, and she released on January 29th of 2021. I ordered her on the 10th of April 2022. She shipped out on the 11th, and I got her today on the 14th. I did have to pay a little premium on her because, I mean, it's a Neptunia figure in the aftermarket. Uh, she cost me $177.99. Got her brand new at Big Bad Toy Store. Um, looking on MSC and, you know, the ads, Solaris. You can't really judge by Solaris most of the time, but they're selling her for 23,000 yen. So, not ter a terrible price at $178, but still pricey. So, like I said, I wasn't planning on getting Wonk. She's not my favorite, but she's cute. But then they announced Vare. And I lo love the way that Vare looks. And I'm like... Okay, well, now i got to get Blanc to complete the set. Well, I'm cheating because I'm saying I'm completing the set, but I'm not getting Sleepy Nep, regular Nep, because I just... Right now, I really don't care for that figure. I don't think it looks good. But I have Adult Nep, and there's an argument to be made that they're the same person, so I'm going to say I complete the set. <laughs> but anyways, there is Blanc. She is in her box. There is the side of the box showing her you her backside. There's the back of the box showing different angles. The other side. Look at her on the top. Nice big window. And plain, boring, stripy bottom. So yeah, let's get her open. <laughs> so like the rest of the Neptunia Neoki Sleepy Figures, she has a fluffy base and she has a doggo. So... Unlike the other Neptunia sleepy figure, she's not really uh, disheveled or showing off cleavage or anything. Well, to be fair, she doesn't have cleavage to show off, but she is probably the most prim and proper of the Neo Key versions. There she is. Now we've got the little warning sheet. Not sure exactly what it says. You can look at it if you want. Uh, inside of the box, it's got some cross patterns and everything, so yay. Put that off to the side. And there is Blanc in her blister packaging. 
So there she is from the front, from the side, around to the back, and the other side, and back to the front. So looking at her right now, the doggo kind of looks used, kind of dirty, a dirty blue, but it is a brand new figure, so it's not a used doggo, except for by Blanc. Let's go ahead and get her open. And let's see here. Opens pretty easily. There is her fluffy base. It's blue. It's fluffy. It's nice and soft. It's got uh, two pegs there. They're plastic pegs and then a support with a peg sticking out of it. Um, it's got some Japanese copyright information. Copyright 2013 and I can't read the rest of it. So yeah. And I believe it's just her now. So she's got some weight to her. We'll set her down and get this out of the way. And let's have a look. So compared to the pictures on the box, her hair on the box looked kind of more orangey, yellowishy. But on the figure itself, it's kind of just a light brown tan color. Looks pretty good. She's got nice blue eyes. She's blushing just a little bit and little mouth. Kind of got that vacant, vacant blank, blank expression, which Blanc is known for. Um, she's a flat-chested goddess, but she's got a couple bumps there. Nice and cute. Uh, she is short-haired, so not going down her back or anything. It's, can tell it's multi-layered. There's lots of spikes and everything. Um... Some of the tips of the hair, it looks like some paint has rubbed off, like that one right there. So yay. She's got a light baby blue collar on. There is her doggo pillow, which is another common theme, is the doggo pillow, but usually it's separate from her. But this doggo is attached. It has a tail. It's got some ears. She's got a nice white dress with some brown trim. She's wearing her jacket, which has some uh, brown fur around the edge of it. Uh, the jacket is, uh, you know, it's white. It's got some blue, very light blue highlights. Uh, in her other hand, she is holding her hat, which is securely attached. And if we look, we see she does have some pink fingernails. Uh, main three fingers are together. The pinky is separated. And the thumb's there. Over here, same thing. Uh, on the, like, I don't even know what part it's called of the coat, but where the buttons are. You got a little red jewel at the bottom. You got some buttons. You got some straps. Uh, she ha is a leggy girl for being a shorty. Her legs are done very well. She's got nice toes. They are all one piece, not separated or anything, but the toenails are painted. She does have a big giant bow and ribbon wrapped around her right ankle and uh, shin bone and everything and calf. I'm sure you've seen it, but she is wearing some plain white ones. And there's some details down there. Some folds and wrinkles and lines. She's got some booty, booty cheeks and everything. Uh, looking from here, she they are tight and she is definitely showing some uh, camel toe. And looking above, yes, you can see her, at least I can see her belly above her panties below her sh dress. So, fairly simple figure. Let's see. Okay, she does not stand on her own. But she's cute. And the hair is done really well. Uh, aside from, like I said, a couple of the tips where it looks like it's rubbed off. There's uh, gradients and shading at uh, the top of the hair. I mean, it's kind of messy looking, but you can... There's a couple... You can kind of tell where it's assembled from different pieces. Uh, on the back, there's a glued-on piece. There's a glued-on piece. Um, I can see one ear hiding behind her 
bang there. Uh, the other ear is really, it's there, but it's really hidden, so it's not very visible. But yeah, I mean, nice and simple and cute. Is she worth $178? Probably not, but it's a Neptunia figure. It's in the aftermarket, and like I said, I wanted to complete the set cheatily. So, when Vair got announced, I had to get this one. Let's get around the base. There we go. Uh, had to twist the feet a little bit, but once I did that, she fits on pretty nicely. Let's go ahead and pull her closer, and we'll do a spin around. So, like I said, nice and simple figure. Uh, of the, you know, lewd, sleepy figures of the Neptunia series, she probably is the most prim and proper. Like, she's not showing off cleavage. Like, her sh shirt's not unbuttoned down to her waist and everything. But just a nice dress. It's She's not really, like, wearing nightwear. She's wearing her normal outfit. It's just loose and, like, straps are falling off and everything. And from the back... You can see her dress be through the uh, flapping of the skirt or the coat, but she doesn't really show off her undies unless you're looking from way below. But yeah, I mean, she's cute. And I'm not mad about having to pay a little bit extra for her. I think quality-wise, she's good. And, I mean, these days, brand new... they. Figures are going so expensive, she would probably be around this price anyway. So, yay. Uh, this is Blanc, the Neo Key version of her. She is white heart, but not transformed. So this is the normal Blanc. Uh, she's sleepy. She just kind of woke up. She's got her doggo pillow. Uh, she is from Hyperdimension Neptunia. She's a 1 8 scale figure manufactured by Broccoli. She originally released on January 29th of 2021. So over a year old. Uh, I got her brand new at Big Bad Toy Store. I paid $177.99 plus $4 or $5 shipping. It doesn't matter. But, like I said, she's expensive. She's more expensive if I got her from Japan, even with the uh, exchange rate being what it is right now, which is really good for Americans. You got prices and then you got shipping, so it made sense to get her from a U.S. store. And like I said... The main reason I got her, I mean, now that I have her, I'm really happy with her. She is really cute. But uh, Broccoli announced Vare, which is supposed to come out at the end of the year, and I really liked the way that she looked. And I decided I wanted to complete the Sleepy Neptunia set. And I'm cheating by saying Adult Nep is Nep, because I don't like regular Nep's Sleepy figure. Just don't. But, yeah. Anyways, I'm happy. I'm rambling. I hope you enjoyed. She's cute. If you like her, you should get her too. See you next time. Don't know when that'll be. Depends on if pre-orders get delayed. Bye-bye. Have fun. See you later. I'm out.